So this song deals with what's called power chords. Now power chords are two notes, a two note chord shape that travels around the neck of the guitar. So to make a power chord, the first chord in this song is going to be the G power chord. And so you're gonna take your first finger and put it on the third fret of the low E string. Now, when you make a power chord, right, this is the rule of thumb that applies for all of them. You take your third finger and you move it two frets up. So, so up two frets is the fifth fret and then down a string would be the A string. So the whole power chord would be the first fret or the third fret of the low E string, right? And the fifth fret of the A string. So the next chord that we're gonna play is a B flat power chord. Uh, and all you're doing is you're moving this shape up one to the fourth fret, two to the fifth fret, three to the sixth fret. So you're making a power chord shape on the sixth fret of the low E string. So you're gonna take your first finger and put it on the sixth fret, right? And then you take your third finger, move it up one, two, and then down to the next string. So the sixth fret of the low E string and the eighth fret of the A string. So Let's play what we have so far. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, four for now. To B flat. Let's try it one more time. So start on the G power chord again. One, two, ready, and. super easy. Now this next power chord is a big slide. We're going to start on, we're going to go from that B flat power chord, starting on the sixth fret of the low E, and we're going to move that down to the first fret of the low E. So the whole power chord, the F power chord, this is called, is first fret, first finger on the first fret of the low E, and your third finger on the third fret of the A string. So let's play now what we have so far. done with the song actually there's just one more chord that we need to learn and so this is a C power chord and we're gonna again start it on the low E string so you're gonna take this F and you're gonna move it up to uh, the 10th fret or the no sorry the 8th fret so it's starting on the 8th fret of the low E string then, as usual, take your middle finger or your ring finger, third finger, put up two frets, one, two, and then down a string. So your first finger should be on the eighth fret of the low E string, and then your third finger should be on the tenth fret of the A string. Right, and that's the whole song. So let's play what we have so far. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four to B flat. Two, three, four to F. Two, three, four to C. Two, three, four. So now the 
the last thing we're gonna learn is the strumming pattern. Uh, and so the, the most basic way to do it is just, is just strumming down, right? You wanna kinda use, put your wrists into it a little bit and strum uh, one and two and three and four and. So I want you to move on to this step once you have the first part down. Once you can play all the different power chords, G, B flat, F, and C, starting on the low B string. But the strumming pattern, one and two and three and four and. So that's one and two and three and four. You strum it eight times. And you only want to strum, remember if you do a power chord, you strum on all the strings, it's not gonna sound good. So you want to only strum on these lowest two. So, one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you just repeat. Hey everyone, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first lesson in the Songs of the Key of Rock. Uh, series. Stay tuned and there will be more videos coming soon.